This is gonna blow your mind. The sun was just beginning to paint the sky with hues of orange and pink as the two male lions, Kyongozi and Kijana, patrolled the vast expanse of the Maasai Mara. Their pride was a formidable force, their roars echoing through the plains. As they walked, their keen senses picked up the faint scent of hyenas. Kiongozi, the elder of the two, tensed. Hyenas were a constant threat, their numbers and cunning making them formidable adversaries. Kijana, still young and impetuous, was less concerned. He yawned, his eyes heavy with sleep. Don't worry, brother, he said. We're too powerful for them. Kiongozi shook his head. Never underestimate your enemy, Kijana. Hyenas are cunning creatures. They know our weaknesses. As they continued their patrol, Kijana's eyelids grew heavier. He leaned against a tree, his body gradually sinking into a deep slumber. Suddenly, a cacophony of howls and snarls erupted. Kijana jolted awake, his senses on high alert. He looked around, his heart pounding in his chest. A pack of hyenas was circling his brother, their eyes glinting with malice. Kiongozi was on his feet, his muscles rippling with tension. He roared, his voice a thunderous challenge. The hyenas paused, their howls momentarily silenced. But their hesitation was short-lived. With a blood-curdling screech, they launched themselves at Kiongozi. The battle was fierce and brutal. Kiongozi fought with all his might, his claws raking across the hyenas' backs. But the hyenas were relentless, their numbers overwhelming. One hyena managed to sink its teeth into Kiongozi's flank, tearing a deep gash. As Kijana watched in horror, he knew he had to act. He sprang forward, his roar echoing across the plains. The hyenas were startled, their attention momentarily diverted. Kijana seized the opportunity, leaping onto the back of a hyena and biting down on its neck. The hyena let out a yelp of pain, releasing its grip on Kiongozi. Kijana continued to attack the hyena, driving it away. The other hyenas, sensing the tide turning, began to retreat. Kiongozi collapsed to the ground, his body exhausted. Kiana rushed to his side, his eyes filled with relief. Are you okay, brother? he asked. Kiongozi nodded weakly. I'm alive, thanks to you, he replied. You saved my life. The two lions watched as the hyenas disappeared into the distance. They had survived, their bond strengthened by the ordeal. As they walked away, the sun was rising higher in the sky, casting a warm glow over the plains. The Maasai Mara, with all its beauty and danger, was their home, and they were determined to protect it. <laughs>